everyone. Uh, this is Eileen Fontenot with the Thomas Crane Library, and I'm here today chatting with author James Sullivan, a Quincy native, um, who'll be giving us a little preview of his online talk about his new book, uh, Unsinkable, Five Men in the Indomitable Run of the USS Plunkett. Uh, his talk will be held at 7 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, April 7th online, and thank you for joining us. Well, I'm glad to be here. Good. Uh, so before we talk about the book briefly, why don't you give us a little of your background and, and your background as a writer? Sure. Well, I, I grew up in Quincy in uh, several different places in Quincy. <laughs> I started out right across from the Francis W. Parker School uh, on Billings Road. And then we lived in Squanum and then up in Marymount before I went off to college. So mm -hmm. I've got uh, I've got a lot of Quincy uh, in the background. Oh. You know, the library is up, down and backwards. Um, nice. So I, and I think you know, when I go back to being a kid, uh, uh, especially in Squanum and going to the library all the time, I think that's probably where my uh, desire to, to write took root. Um, mm -hmm. The Thomas Crane Public Library made so many good books <laughs> available uh -huh. to the kids. So I, um, so yeah, so I, I always kind of knew that eventually I wanted to to write, and I ended up in college and then in graduate school in in Iowa, and uh, and took it off from there. Nice. So, um, sorry, I don't know. Is this uh, what number of book is this? Are you, you're not a new. New author, are you? Have no, you no. In fact, I'm sort of. A, I, it's this only the second book I wrote. I I wrote a, a memoir um, in two that was published by Picador in 2004, mm -hmm. and then I had two little kids at the time. And as little kids will do, they will get in the way of pretty much uh, any uh, sustained writing that you want to uh, uh, undertake. And uh, so it was only when they were teenagers and, and mm -hmm. didn't need me <laughs> as much as they used to that I I plunged into this new story about. Um, my grandfather's brother, John Gallagher. Uh, yeah, so yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Was he from Quincy too, or was he from Boston area? No, the Gallagher's ended up in, in Quincy uh, eventually in the, in the 50s, but uh, they were from Dorchester. Uh, there were five Gallagher brothers and four of them went away to war. Um, and, uh, and one of them, John, was in the Navy. And uh, uh, there was this one story when I was a kid. Um, it was the most famous story across all the branches of my family, really, that, uh, that John's brother Frank used to tell about having met John uh, right before the invasion of Anzio. John was going in on a Navy ship at Astoria, the USS Plunkett, and Frank was going in with the infantry as a medic. And they had this reunion, and uh, Frank told the story of that reunion uh, for the rest of his life. And uh, each of us in the family knew it upside down and backwards. And uh, uh, several years ago, I decided to try to uh, embellish uh, the legend of that story mm -hmm. with some facts, and, and unsinkable is, is what resulted. Okay. So you did some, some historical research as well as um, kind of blending in that family legend? I did. I, 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 it, it began um, not as a book even. I was going to Italy with my family on a, on a trip, and I knew that my uncles, great uncles, had a connection to Anzio, and I began to wonder if any of the men who'd been on the ship with my great uncle, John Gallagher, were still living and I, I one day bumped into a man named Jim Feltz, who told me uh, that he had been a very good friend of John Gallagher. And I knew really from that moment that something had its, its barb in me and I was going to have to see it through. Okay. Um, so what did you find that was, you know, very interesting about the story? No spoilers, though. Well, yeah, sure. I, well, I, you know, I went into it just trying to thinking that I was going to write a little bit of family history. I just wanted to find out. I'd never met him, of course. Um, uh, and, and I wanted to I wanted to find out what his experience had been like. And so that's really all I was after in the beginning. Um, but what I found out when I started to pulling the, when I started pulling threads was that the Plunkett, the USS Plunkett um, was um, probably involved in the most harrowing um, uh, engagement with the German Luftwaffe than any U.S. Navy ship. Um, and uh, they were in on every invasion um, in North Africa and in Europe. And it culminated, its defining moment happened at Enzio, where there was a 25-minute pitched battle between the Plunkett and, and 12 to 14 German bombers. And it's that, that, that 25 minutes has, has all of the drama of, of a blockbuster movie uh, to it. So I, I didn't know that that was the case. I didn't know that's what I would find, but that's what was there at the end of the line. 
Wow, that sounds really exciting and um, really, you know, nail biting. So um, that sounds like it's going to be a very interesting story. So I'm sure our, our viewers can't wait to see that. Um, so this is going to be a great little story. So again, uh, this is author James Sullivan, and he's going to be speaking about the USS Plunkett and his new book, Unsinkable. And it's going to be Wednesday, April 7th at 7 p.m. Uh, be sure to check out on our events calendar at thomascranlibrary.org uh, to find out how to join us online. And um, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Eileen. I'm looking forward to it. Okay.